Hello everybody, this is Bugsy with a short video. Uh this has been it's been a long ass time since I've done a short video, hasn't it? Well on YouTube at least. A new sequel to the original Ghost Prince of Films is, is in the works and is scheduled to be released in theaters in 2020. Jason Redman will direct and co-write the new film that will follow the events of the two original films from the 80s. Jason's father, Irvin Redman, directed, Ghost, directed both Ghostbusters in 1980, the 19, 1984 Ghostbusters. And... The, the 1989's Ghostbusters 2. Jason Ratman, this is the next chapter in the original franchise. It's not a reboot. What happened in the 80s? What happened in the 80s happens, happens in the 80s. And this is set in present day. Sony, Sony Pictures is set to set a date for 2020 for the new film Ivan Retman's on board as producer. The six the the 2016 Ghostbusters reboot starring Kristen Wiig and Kate McKinnon will have no connection to this new sequel. It is not known if any of the original cast, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, will be returning. I don't think Bill Murray is because every time they try to get him to do a Ghostbusters thing, he never does. You know, it's kind of fitting in the 2016 movie. The only thing I'll give him is that he, like in a weird way, because I think it's in a separate universe, but to me, I always kind of think it's a little bit connected. Like, what if... I'll, I'll save that for another day. But Bill Murray becomes kind of like a Walter Peck that it goes killed in the in the 2016 movie. All I gotta say is this. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Listen to me. Listen to me, folks. I have no problems with the Ghostbusters being women. Okay? One of my favorite Ghostbusters is a chick and she's in her. And she's from the she's from the extreme Ghostbusters. And from some and from some and from some porn, but we ain't talking about that. We ain't here to talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, some of my favorite Ghostbusters were some of my favorite Ghostbusters one of my favorite Ghostbusters from the Extreme Ghostbuster was a chick. And and also I like Janine in the in the other car, in the first cartoon where she became a Ghostbuster for a bit. Yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with female Ghostbusters, but if you don't have them do any if you don't have them do anything that actually funny and I'm pretty sure Sony took notice that the that the actual fans of Ghostbusters, not the fans who just got into Ghostbusters because there's chicks, because there's just chicks, um, they understood that it didn't do so well, and, be, and, there's, and they took away my Ecto Cooler. I didn't even get a chance to drink it, god damn it. I didn't get a chance to drink it. Damn you. Damn you, Ghostbusters reboot! Damn you and your unfunniness! Damn you for damn you damn you, Paul Fig for freaking at least trying to make it funny. You made bridesmaids with Ghostbusters, and that is unforgivable. I don't even care. Now, now they like they joke like he jokingly said he'd do a sequel, 
to Ghostbusters, and I'm glad. So that means the Ghostbusters in this, uh, the Ghostbusters in the reboot, are a whole separate universe, which I'm kind of glad, because fuck that, because fuck that reboot. I don't give a fuck if you guys think I hate chicks. I don't. It's the fact that matters. You guys didn't dance and do anything funny. It was just, oh, let's just reshoot some scenes out of spite because we want to prove that the, we want to prove that the men didn't like this because, okay, but let me explain why I didn't like it. The main reason. Y'all made it right after, y'all made it right after Harold Ramis' death. Okay? You made it right after his fucking death. Like, his body wasn't even... His body wasn't even fucking gold in the ground. And you guys said, fuck it, we're gonna make another Ghostbusters movie. And instead of giving us the sequel that we want in this little video that I've made right here... And IGN covered... Y'all just want it to be... Oh, let, let's... 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 Pay, let's... Let's not give... Female Ghostbusters and male Ghostbusters, what they really want. Let's just pander to the females. Because why the fuck not? You didn't care about you didn't care about the male part. Hell, some other some female some female Ghostbuster fans who actually like Ghostbusters didn't really even like the didn't even really like the 2016 movie. Because when they real, when it was, when it was said and done, there was no heart, there was no love. All there was was just anger and animosity from a fan base who wanted a new Ghostbuster movie. Sure, we got kind of Ghostbusters three with the video game, but some of us want want an actual movie, even though I do accept Ghostbusters. The game is Ghostbusters 3. I don't care. Y'all can say whatever, but it had everybody in it. It it expanded the lore. It basically had every other ghost come back. I'm cool. Like, the only thing it didn't have was Vigo. That should have happened. There should have been a sequel to that. There should have been a sequel to the game where Vigo comes back. Or maybe we fight some of the other ones from the... From the, the real Ghostbusters. That would have been great. <sighs> but you know. I'm not going to be angry about it. Because at the end of the day. Y'all going to think whatever you want to think about me. And how I feel about the Ghostbusters reboot. But personally. I don't like it. Because really. It was just a spiteful. It was a spiteful reboot. Y'all didn't understand why we were angry. You didn't understand why the dudes were angry. You didn't understand why the chicks were angry. Because there were angry chicks. You didn't understand why we were all angry. All you understood is that we didn't like women ghostbusters in our fucking movies. When both, when the two, the two ghostbusters I like were female. And people knew about those two ghostbusters. Hell, you could have actually put Kylie, you could have put the character of Kylie in the movie, and you could have put Janine in the movie, and she could have been training her to be a Ghostbuster with a bunch of other people. Maybe make the extreme Ghostbusters into a movie, because when you think about it, that was more diverse. That was about as diverse as you can fucking get. That's the thing. All y'all want diversity and equality and shit, but Y'all don't know how to get, y'all don't even know how to get it across. That's the funny thing. So excuse me if I'm a little bit happy that my favorite movie series is finally getting a third, a third movie. And forgive me if you don't think that this is, you don't think that, you think that the ghost. You think that the reboot was good? If you think the reboot was good, I ain't gonna fight you over it. You like what you like. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, it's bad because of this and that. Because any point I can bring up, you're gonna be like, oh, well, Bugsy, you know, you don't like women. And it's like, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I have two. I'll tell you this. I have two sisters. A mom and a brother. 
and I have a niece. I have two nieces and two and two nephews. Yo, <laughs> y'all motherfuckers think I just. Y'all motherfuckers think I wasn't just because I don't like the Ghostbusters movie because that that's what everybody was saying. You hate women because you hate the Ghostbusters movie. Fuck you. Like, you know anything about me. Like, you know anything about these people who actually don't like the Ghostbusters movie for their own reasons. That's the thing. This movie was just... The reboot was just hateful. It was motherfucking hateful. And a few other and a few other plot points didn't make any sense. And you can be mad. You can be angry at me. You're well in your right to do that. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you can't be angry at me. Because that's just because that's just plain fucking idiotic. You have a right to be angry at me if you want. I'm not here to sit I'm not here I'm not gonna sit here and tell you you can't. But I am gonna tell you why I didn't like the freaking reboot. And the fact that the reboot is has no connection with the sequel makes me so happy. You know? And people can say, oh, well, well, I thought it was good. Okay, you thought it was good. Great. Little girls liked it too? Okay, cool. I ain't mad at, I ain't mad at the little girls for liking it. They can have their Ghostbusters and we can have ours. Simple. Simple. I'm just happy that Ghostbusters gets to come back next. We get a new Ghostbusters next year. And this year's really shaped up to be good for me, personally. Kingdom Hearts is finally coming out. Jump Force is going to be fucking amazing. Well, maybe not for some, but for me and for other people. And we're getting Dragon Ball Heroes in April! I don't even, like, guys, you don't even understand how fucking happy I am. I want to, I want to fucking run, I want to fucking run naked into the streets going, oh! Okay, I wouldn't actually do that. It's fucking, it's winter. It's fucking cold. <laughs> so even if I, so even if I had enough courage to streak, it's fucking cold. It's winter, guys. It's winter. The Prairie City is cold. Okay? Okay. But Annie, what do you got to say to them? Mm -hmm. What do you got to say about all this? About how they may give us a real sequel? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold my breath. I'm not going to hold my breath on it, considering why they did the last one. I mean... Like, like you said, they shit on someone's grave for it. And decided to pay, you know, they literally pandered to women just for the sake of it. And it got them shit at the box office because they literally pissed on every fan that existed as thus far. They pissed in their faces, literally. And honestly... I agree that everyone was had a right to be angry. If you're going to make a movie based on a franchise that's already existing, your purpose is to sell the product, not exactly piss them off so they don't buy your product. Mm -hmm. But if they want to make a second one, one that's genuinely a reboot, I'll try to get behind it. But the only problem I'll have is they're going to have to show us that they're willing to put in the money and the effort and the time to genuinely make a sequel this time than a shitty reboot. And That's got, why I'm not making the right eh, but, they got, but they got the original people back. Probably after that fucking CEO probably got fired after that. They were like, oh, you kicked the original guy that was supposed to actually work on this with with you and you got Paul Fig. Oh yeah, Fig. you. They probably fired her. Yeah, but it was a box office bomb because they thought that their technique was working, and no matter what they did, they kept pushing 
that narrative that somehow they, excuse me, that somehow they had the right thing. Essentially that no matter what we did, we were all misogynistic, sexist pigs. And that you don't have to go see it if you don't want to. Your goal is to sell a movie that we can watch. What the fuck are you doing? This is why, personally, at the end of the day, I'm gonna hold my I'm not gonna hold my breath until they actually show they're gonna put in some effort. Even if they get the original team, there's a possibility that they may force them to pander to a specific group that again isn't needing to be pandered to. I think what we want in this day and age is enough LGBT and all these things. Look, I'm not saying don't put it into your movies or make them women empowered or anything. What I'm asking is to put some goddamn good story effort into your movies. That way they're watchable. When even Doctor Who is tanking because it's too progressive and Doctor Who is becoming bland as paper. Oh yeah, we're not getting Doctor Who until 2020, which still kind of pisses me off. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it winds up showing you that pandering to the people, to a certain demographic, instead of, well, writing a good story, doesn't pay off. And you wind up losing shit tons of money Mm -hmm. rather than gaining money, which honestly makes me really question why the fuck are you doing this in the first place? Because honestly, it never sold to begin with. Mm. It's just an ideology. Mm. Making something female empowered without a good story behind it, you're not going to sell well. To make something strictly LGBT just for the sake of it without a good story again, you're not going to sell a good product. Because that's not going to represent the people of said groups well. The point I'm trying to make is, well, again, what I've been saying. Write a fucking good story that, in this case, honors the original in a way that the audience will come back and watch it with. And you know what? Here's one other thing I want to talk about, too. That's what I'm worried for Frozen 2. Because y'all are going to focus way too hard on Elsa being gay. They do that, they're going to mess it up. Because, like, how we actually explore her character now that she's a queen? Let's see where that goes. I mean, if you're going to put, like, her, that... her phone with a chick go right ahead, I'm going to be waiting. I'm going to be waiting the Royal, Royal Six... I'm gonna be waiting that. I'm gonna be waiting that rule thirty four to uh reap the rewards of that of that movie. And I, do I think at the end of the day, honey, mm-hmm. when people go writing these movies, they don't exactly think about writing the story because it's already a pre existing franchise and characters and settings. So therefore, they don't need to put real effort in in order to create these stories. All they think is that they have to plaster new people on it, and they could add whatever sexuality they want with it, and you've got a brand new story, when really it takes a lot more effort to redo a story or renew it or reboot it in any sense, form, or shape. Especially for the modern day era, that everyone complains Mm. about. You guys want to know what actually revitalized my love for Ghostbusters? Mm. Guess what I did? I looked at all the Ghostbuster fan films, even the one made by Blue Core Studios, and also the the Utah Ghostbusters, even though their second movie kind of was like, what the actual fuck? It was basically, the, the Utah Ghostbusters basically fought Freddy and won. Like, Fought him with their proton packs and a whole bunch of other shit. It was, it was fucking great. 
then I saw Five Nights at Freddy's versus versus uh, Ghostbusters, which was another fan film. It was actually pretty good. It represented both. It represented both franchises pretty well. Also, they talked about characters looking into the trap and having some incident of a little kid looking into a trap, which I thought was actually kind of <laughs> was kind of like, oh shit, oh the Ghostbusters have some shit too, just like Fazbear Entertainment shit. <sighs> You know, and even I'm working on my own Ghostbusters thing in the near future. And I like to think of it as its own little continuation that's sort of a loose continuation to the extreme Ghostbusters. Because the old Ghostbusters will always be my Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters will always be my... Like, but the extreme Ghostbusters were cool. And they did not sugarcoat that character... That fucking... Extra and background characters died in that shit. The characters died. You didn't see them, but they did. I just want a good movie. Is that so hard to ask? Is that the one... Is, is that hard to ask? Or is it because I'm a dude? I shouldn't be asking for much. You know, when I look at every... Actually, no, I'm not going to make... I'm not going to make a fucking Danganronpa reference, because at least Tango was sort of, became sort of tolerable, and you sort of kind of understood her for a bit. I mean, she wasn't a really great character, you know, she was, she was a straight, she was like just a straight man-hating lesbian, which was, eh, I get tired of that in anime a lot. But, you know, even she was actually pretty enjoyable. <laughs> but, you know, I'm Bugsy. And, you know, I make I make my videos the best way I can. Even if certain people don't think I'm the best or I'm the greatest. Or, or heck, even if you feminists think I'm a dude and I shouldn't be making videos about, about these kinds of topics because I'm a man. I'm a person who enjoys a good story. I'm a person who doesn't want to put the, a character's own sexuality as a character trait if it's not going to be done for comedy or for or improving the story. You know, y'all can have y'all y'all can have y'all can have your gay lesbian Ghostbusters or. Just straight up gay male Ghostbusters or whatever. But they gotta be characters first. You know? They gotta be characters first and foremost. You can't just have them be gay and that's just it. You call it a day. No, they gotta have more to themselves than what they have. And trust me, there are some other things we are going to talk about. That will probably land me in some hot water. But that's for another video entirely. Spoiler alert. It deals with ABC. But I probably won't talk about that until way later. But listen, but listen folks. I'm excited. And you know what else, guys? Even though IDW doesn't deserve it. You should really read some of their Ghostbuster comics. It is in a certain place and in a certain way. I can't really tell you where you can go to read those things without ID without IDW breathing down your back, but some of you already know. Direct the others to it, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Guys, this is Bugsy signing off and and uh, Jason Rettman, don't let me down, man. Don't let me down. Okay? Because Sony let me down with their reboot. I just don't want you to be... I want you... I want you...
to show these people. That you, I wanted you to show these people that you can make a good Ghostbusters movie. You know, that you got it. You can. Alright? You don't have to pander to people. You don't have to you don't have to insult fan bases. You can do it cleanly and correctly. Without pandering to a single group. Everybody, I'm gonna go. I'll see you later. And remember folks, regardless on regardless regardless on how you feel about me. For the rest of my fans who love my videos and keep on subscribing to me, I love you. I love you guys. Remember that. And like I said, Jason Redman, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Peace, everybody. Peace.